Welcome back to the Corporate Happiness Show. I'm Jacqueline Pertle, your host. You can find me at freakyhilo.com. This show is really about highlighting happiness at work in corporations, but also organizations and really special, especially powerful voices that stand for creating happiness and how then that goes on into private life or not. So today's guest is a very, very powerful voice. We met at a women function event through the St. Pete Girl Boss group. And um, we really kind of felt that we wanted to, you know, connect professionally, see how we can support the big goal of helping women in the big picture. And then, of course, having her at, on this podcast to hear her voice. So, Alyssa, thanks so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you so much, Jacqueline, for having me. It's truly uh, an honor to be on your show. And um, I love everything that you talk about with corporate happiness. I think it is just so, so, so important, you know, almost a, at the pinnacle of what makes an organization so great. Right, um, so it is. So I mean, we're diving right into it. And I like it. I like it. <laughs> but why do you think it's so important, happiness? Why is it so important? Yeah. So, you know, to I mean, for me personally, happiness is so important. And, you know, they'll say often happiness is like a feeling. Joy is what really stays within you. Um, and I find so much joy in what I'm able or what I'm doing, but it's also creating a happy and a welcoming and almost a home-like environment um, for the women that we serve through empowerment. Um, so for me, it really brings me joy um, being able to give and, and show and create happiness um, for other women. That sounds amazing. So let's get roll back a little bit and say, okay, so you are the director of the organization Empowerment, right? It's the so, H-E-R is really what it's about for women. So what do you do and what is your organization standing for, for helping and supporting women? Absolutely. So I am the director of optimization. So our okay. founder, um, she's the CEO. Her name is Ambie Stevens. Um, but as the director of optimization, my role is to really engage with our um, our supporters, our donors, those that really support us as an organization um, and allow us to continue our growth and our reach into the women in our community. Um, and then to add on to your question with the women, um, I, actually, I'm going to have you repeat that that last part because I wanted I wanted to clarify uh, my role within the organization. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. That shows I to reverse you, a little bit. Yeah, I know <laughs> that shows you actually how much I think how powerful I think you are. You know, I just call you the director. So, and there are many, many ways of being a director, but you are a leading, leading voice for you know a, a connecting with new people and for building partnerships and relationships that can actually then help your organization so yeah anyway so the power of director you definitely have that energetic force and uh, hence i called you the director and so thank you for correcting that so well the other thing is just like so how do you help like how do you help women and why is it so important in what you're doing to help women yeah. So, you know, what I would say is um, Empowerment is a, you know, women's nonprofit organization. Um, we have two centers, uh, one in Clearwater, one in Palm Harbor, and both offer um, the same resources and programs to all women. So something that's really different about us is we don't have um, what you'll often see like a checkbox system. Um, so when women come in, um, we know that women are coming in for support. So we are not, you know, gauging the type of support that they need regarding, you know, you've only checked nine boxes out of 10, so we can't help you. Um, and something that I like to say oftentimes is, you know, women who come in, maybe they have $6 in their pocket, or maybe they're pocketing six figures at the end of the year. You know, we all need support um, in a variety of ways. And, you know, some of the areas that we do offer support in 
uh, one of our big ones and you know one of the foundations of how empowerment was started um, is our no cost therapy. So we actually provide um, 10 sessions per year to any woman who's in need um, of therapy through uh, any of our partners, a licensed mental health counselor, just your general, you know, normal therapist. Uh, we pay for all of that, um, all the services, and the women are able to, you know, set up those appointments with them and um, make sure that their mental health is is staying in a in a good place. Uh, we also offer, you know, different resources and finances. Our financial wellness program, um, our healing and wellness, which talks about, you know, so many different things. Um, from, you know, grief support to just women being in community and being able to talk things out in a, a healthy and a safe environment. Um, we also offer an Entrepreneur Academy. So women who are interested in entrepreneurship but don't really know where to start, uh, we have a full academy through that. And the cool thing um, that I I just think it's amazing, we, we give them a $500 grant uh, at the end of their graduation that they can actually go out and use kind of as, you know, seed money to go out and actually start or amplify their business in any way that they need. Um, you know, we offer networking, different community events. I mean, there's so much, you name it. Um, we have a resource for that. And if it's something that we don't currently have a resource on, um, it's probably because we're working on it and we've seen the need or we have amazing referral partners um, that can it's help amazing. fill any gap. It's amazing. Yeah, it's like a whole you. support system. And I'm a strong believer that happiness is also created by having a support system. You know, Absolutely. in reality, everyone is responsible for their own happiness. And it's good if you don't base it on the outside of you, right? But rather like deal yes. with it like an it's an inside thing, be that yes. privately or be that um, at work. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's like a support system because there are days in your life where you don't feel so good or you just feel like a little down or whatnot. And having a support system is actually amazing because a support system can lift you up, even though it's like, you know, a toothpick picking up because ultimately it's inside of you and it comes from inside of you. But that little uplift can actually then get you over that hump and then you feel satisfied again. You feel hopeful again and you feel supported and also it's like I feel like a support system you can kind of like carry like a backbone with you you know so you know that you if you fall back a little bit there's that support system that actually then carries you and catches you and that brings a trust it brings a safety net it brings happiness and I like that you do that so how do you in your own organization create happiness because like you say you have two centers you have a lot of women coming in you have a lot you know, I don't know how many employees you have maybe you can let us know too but I know it's it's growing and mm -hmm. also together then with the founder and to make sure that it all is kind of based on kindness happiness and you know being really really in a great great place as a company how do you do that yeah, so it's really important to us as our team that we, so within our mission of empowerment, our mission and our vision is always to help um, all women rise. So that, that's so important for us as an internal team too, because we want to make sure that as we're helping other women rise, we're also helping each other rise uh, internally. So I with love our that. internal yeah, love that. Me too. Love that. Me too. It's a, you know, it's a, it's something that I wish we, you know, we could see a lot more um, in companies. And I, you know, and for that reason, that's why I love your podcast so much because we really get down to the things that really work um, to maintain happiness in the workplace. Um, so for us, we're always going through leadership trainings. Um, we're having, you know, open and candid conversations with each other. We're checking in on each other. Um, we even, we utilize a platform, a communication platform called Slack, where we, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's like quicker than email, yeah. but it's not so personal, like texting um, for us to message back and forth. And we even have a channel within our Slack called wins. And um, I love that because we're able to celebrate each other's wins so constantly and consistently. I mean, 
for me, when I first joined um, as a staff member of the organization, one of my first wins was, um, I call her my, my tiniest best friend. She's five, she's about to be six in March, but she had just transitioned from her toddler glasses to her big kid glasses. Um, and it was such a such a cool thing to see for her and the confidence that it brought to her that I was like, oh my goodness, I have to share this in the wins chat. So, you know, unknowingly to her, she also had this group of women that were like cheering her on in the background of, you know, her just transitioning from toddler glasses to big girl glasses. So we celebrate all wins, you know, big, small, it's, it's important to us. Um, you know, being that we are such a small and, you know, close knit tight team, um, we're really supportive of each other. We know, we know the, you know, the highs and the lows and, you know, how we can really support each other through that, whether we need a, a cheerleader, or we need a shoulder, um, you know, going back into before I was brought on as a staff member back in July, um, I've been a supporter now for empowerment for, a little over three years now that we've entered into um, 2023, but back in um, October of 2021, um, let's see, I was 23 at that time, um, I was diagnosed with an eating disorder, so that was really tough for me, and then, you know, I was trying to go through that, trying to navigate through the holidays, um, then come, you know, the beginning of, um, 2022, I had my first scare with, um, breast cancer. Uh, luckily I'm, I'm all good right now. I, you know, I have a wonderful doctor that keeps me monitored, um, you know, all the time, but, you know, my point in saying that is, you know, empowerment offers so many resources. Um, you know, our hygiene pantry was something that, you know, we have that has literally everything that you could need in our, our no cost boutique and of course the therapy and the financial, but that's not what I personally needed at that time. What I needed was something that empowerment so beautifully creates and that's community. Um, so going back to what you were saying, Jacqueline, on, um, you know, the community and the support that we yeah. make, um, even just internally, but even before I became a staff member with empowerment, um, I had this amazing um, community of women that I could just lean on because at that time and going through that at such a young age and kind of, you know, feeling like it was, I don't know, it's kind of reminds me of a, a mountain where the snow comes down, it's rolling, it's rolling, yeah. gets bigger and bigger, kind of how I felt, you know, going through that time, but I kind of had those women um, or I did have those women and I still do that I can still lean on if I'm, you know, about to go in for a scan or if I'm having, um, you know, still, you know, always on that journey with, you know, the, the eating disorder. But if I feel uncomfortable, I'm able to go in and, and talk to them and I still have that. But now, you know, being a staff member and being on the team and seeing how our team operates internally, it's just we've created such a beautiful thing that I think it just, it makes me so happy and it fills my heart with joy. And it's just an honor to be able to share that joy with the women that we, you know, that we can continue to serve. Um, I love that. How you say it. And I mean, honestly, thank you so much for being so open to sharing your story. You know, it means a lot to, I know the listeners and whatnot. It means a lot because <clears throat> Joe's that you know you, you talk from your own experience too and mm -hmm. so thank you for sharing this you know very very private okay. information with us and I'm glad that you are doing so well and I'm glad that you have a support system like that so how many employees are you by now I'm curious yeah. so we have kind of like well, you know yeah so we have we have Andy our founder um we have myself a director of optimization uh, we have Kylie, she's our uh, Senior Director of Operations. We have Jane, who is our Intake and Impact Specialist. Uh, we have Kennedy, who is our Programs Director. Uh, we have Wanda, who is an amazing um, supporter that helps us on weekends for events. Uh, we also have our social media intern um, all the way from, I want to say she's in Tallahassee. Um, so mm -hmm. she is remote with us and she is our um, does all of our social media postings. So we are at a team of seven uh, right now, um, two that or one that's, you know, totally remote. And then um, Wanda, who is there kind of on the weekends and for events. Um, so we're, you know, we're a really close knit, tight team. It's um, wonderful. We, 
Thank you. And we we have a community of women that we serve, and that's over. Gosh, it's in it's in the thousands now. Yeah, um, it's, amazing. it's amazing. It's amazing. And honestly, just, you yeah. can serve that many women only because you have a great environment at work. Because it's yeah. like it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't work otherwise. Because you constantly have to come up with everything and supporting and whatnot. And I've been at one of your centers, and we sat down on the couch and talked about it. And it's very, very welcoming. And I really like that. So let's dive into further, even deeper into happiness and community, because you brought up community. We talked about support, and I think it's pretty clear that to everyone, you know, support equals happiness because you know that you're never alone and that you're supported. But what do you think about community? How important do you think community is for happiness at work, you know, for the corporate world, for, you know, small businesses, for entrepreneurs, but then also privately? What do you think community has to do with happiness? Yeah. So, you know, for me and and for empowerment, I think community is when you have the foundation of having a a community of women, a community of supporters, um, it's just a game changer. When you have women who, you know, I like to say I have women who are in my circle, and then I have women who are also who are in my circle, but also in my corner. Um, and, oh, I uh, like that. I like yeah. that. Women yeah. in my circle, and then women in my corner. Talk. Tell me yeah. a little bit more about that. You know, so I think of kind of a, it's going to be such a funny example. So my dad, um, (laughs) he's a phenomenal, phenomenal man. When I was younger, he used to, I forget what weeknights it was on, but it was the WWE wrestling matches, right? You know, you'd have the people in the corner (laughs) of those, right? (laughs) Like giving the water and whatever else they needed. Um, So I think that's something that really stuck in my mind. And that's what I envision. I'm like, oh, they're in my corner, like but I'm not going to go wrestle, you know? Um, but that's kind of what I think. <laughs> but if you a, would want to go fun. wrestle, you could, because you to, have sure. them in your corner. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would. Um, but that's kind of the, the picture <laughs> that, that I get in my mind of, um, in my corner, but you know, in my corner, those are the women that, you know, you know, kind of going back to what I was talking about, um, with my personal story. And I, you know, I am so open about it. I have a blog and and everything where I talk about, you know, finding unlimited refills of, of happiness and joy within yourself um, and what that looks like. And I've shared a lot of that on there. Um, so I'm always more than happy to be an open book about that. But um, I just think it's so important that you do have those people that are there with you, not just in the highs, but in the really, really lows. Um, Because Mm -hmm. for me, that was such a low area uh, or a low time in my life that I was like, I don't know how to dig myself out of that. So the women in my corner came with shovels and they're like, we're going to help you. We're going to help dig you out of this, whatever it takes, because you're, you're that valuable. You're that special to me. And I think that with empowerment, that's how we treat all of our members, which is why we don't have a checkbox system. We don't have you know, we don't look at people who are coming in with, again, you know, the $6 in their pocket or pocketing six figures at the end of the year. We don't treat them any differently because the reality is when a woman comes in or, you know, anyone that comes in that needs support is they need support. And, you know, we're going to treat that just like we would anyone else. Um, So, you know, knowing that we have a community and the community kind of being the foundation to uplift everyone, like the community of our financial wellness and healing and wellness, they have that, that community support with them um, as they do navigate through everything. So I think it's really important for empowerment as an organization. I think it's really important to, um, for empowerment as our internal team, because we know that we, within our, our close knit um, team, we have our, our community there. We know, you know, so-and-so is uh, getting ready to go on a date and we're gonna, you know, cheer her on for that. Or we know, you know, so-and-so is going through a hard time. So we're gonna create a little basket for her or send her a card or, you know, Uber eats her dinner for that night. Um, so that's, so it's not something that she has to worry about. Yeah. Um, so to me, that's really what community is. Um, 
even community within yourself and being being happy and feeling fueled and joy within yourself to me is something that's um is something I would kind of add on to that. Um, because for me, I always like to say if I get to hug someone um uh post COVID, <laughs> yeah. if I get to hug someone, mm -hmm. um, you know, in in the times that we are in now. Um, to me, every day is a great day, but that to me yeah. is an extra special day. Um, yeah. Cause that just brings me so much happy and so much joy. And that really means that we're doing, um, we're doing what yeah. you know, we're telling. What's really also doing. what's important, what it's all based on, you know, yeah. and I like um, how you bring up the no check boxes thing. And I also like um, what, what came in when you kind of were talking. It's like, the thing is, it's like, the support that you guys are offering is not based on any judgmental stuff. You know, it's like, it's okay in your organization as a human being to need help. And I think Absolutely. that's a lot of times it's like, it's like what holds people back. It's like this norm of it's not okay that I need help, or it's not okay that I'm having a hard time, or if not, it's not okay that I'm feeling down. And I feel like you're, you're, you know, your, um, your organization makes it okay. And I think that's what I want to give the listeners with today is like, it's okay if you need support. It's okay if you have a bad day. It's okay if you don't know. And then to really let yourself fall back onto a community like yours or whatever else communities are out there that you have. And, but what I want to highlight, it's okay. And yeah. because you don't have that checkbox, it, it actually highlights even more. It's okay. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, why you are needing help. And we're here. And I think big corporations, that is really easy to lose that kind of thought process, that normality, because it's getting a big, it's, you know, a lot of people, it's, it's kind of like, it's not so personal anymore when the company gets big but I think it's possible even for corporations when you're big as long as you kind of keep that in mind that you're working with people it's not robots it's people and that it's okay if they have a day where they're not so well it's okay if they need a day off it's okay if they need support it's okay and I think that opens up the community of a safe space. And in a space like that, I sat on the couch with you at the center and a man came in, not a woman, a man came in and you dropped everything and said, Jacqueline, I need a minute. And I watched you help that man, give him you know, directions and where to go and let him pick out stuff in the in the little room uh, that you, yeah, yeah, in the room that you have whatever he needed. And that is just something that's heartwarming. And it's like a reminder of back to basics. What is it really about? You know, it's yeah. nobody's job to judge anybody and why they need help. It's just the person needs help or the person needs this. So we're going to give that to him. And I think with corporations and businesses can kind of bring that focus in again, I think it would really create a very happy place. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I agree. I think, you know, it, it goes back to basics. Like you said, it goes back to treating humans like humans and, you know, allowing the thought to be, it's okay if you're not okay. Yeah. And let's help you get back to that state of being okay, whatever that looks like to you. And I think that, you know, so many from what I've seen and, um, you know, what, you know, my other friends will tell me who are in different corporations or businesses or entrepreneurs, they're learning how to, how to recognize, yeah, let's go back. Um, because you're right. You know, we're not robots. Of course, we all have our deliverables and our, our deadlines and we've got, you know, stuff to do, but at the end of the day, we are the body that's doing that. Um, and if our body, our mental state is not okay, how can we expect ourselves to really, you know, 
deliver in the way that we want to. So in corporations, you know, making sure that they have those, those resources to be able to help their employees to get back to a state of, you know, maybe I wasn't okay, but I'm going to be okay, um, I think is a really, really great starting point. I think um, so too. Yeah. And you know, yeah. the thing is, it's like, I mean, yes, you're a smaller company, but you're growing and you couldn't serve mm -hmm. all these people and women, especially women in that masses, if you wouldn't take care of your team. And I think in corporations, what you got to look at is, is possible too. even you're bigger. It's just, you have people dedicated to exactly that. And that will bring in the HR team. I've had many, many HR uh, people on my podcast and I grew a new love for these people these HR people and uh, I think like as a big corporation you just have to make sure to not just think hey we're big we can't do that what are you talking about right human right. really like every single person yeah you can actually do that by having people focusing on that job and to really support these people and give them a free hand that they can do the wonderful job that needs to be done because they're helping your company by taking care of your people because your people are the company, you know, and the uh, HR is the perfect department for that, you know, invite HR to the big table, you know, also give them the freedom to take care of the people and have a budget for that, you know, because, you know, <laughs> making sure that your people are okay, that needs a budget. It really does. And okay. so I like how your company kind of shows how it can be done and how it actually also shows that it can be done in larger companies too, because you're a smaller company serving so many people, but you couldn't do that if you wouldn't take care of your inner company life. And in corporations that can be the same, you know, you take care of your people and you can serve even more people and you just have to kind of organizational make it happen. Right. Absolutely. Because, you know, if we didn't, you know, if we didn't have our team, if I didn't have, you know, Kylie, our director, our senior director of operations, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to, you know, give her all of the amazing events that we're working on and, you know, have her support in that. If I didn't have Kennedy, we wouldn't have all of our programs um, coordinated and facilitated so smoothly. And Ambie is our you know, she is just, she's just everything. Um, she's the founder of the organization and she jumps into whatever she can help with. Um, you know, if we didn't have Taylor, our social media intern and, and her being in a, a safe and comfortable and, and happy uh, state, we wouldn't have the social media content that we're able to deliver to people so that people who may not be close to our centers, um, you know, our one in Clearwater and our one in Palm Harbor, uh, we do have people that join our workshops uh, virtually. And if we didn't, you know, talk about that through the social media platforms, we wouldn't be able to reach those people. Yeah. Um, so each team member really plays an important part in the pie. And, you know, when you're missing those pie slices or if, you know, this pie slice isn't doing so good or it's not, it's not looking so good, um, you want to help that you want to kind of cover that and and nurture that and kind of bring that back to life um so having that internal culture for us is something that is it's just so important um celebrating each other's successes like i said being there through the the very very highs and the really really lows um and you know even with empowerment as organization meeting people where they're at um, is also so important because you never know, someone could be walking in and going into the hygiene pantry, but you don't know what they just experienced an hour ago. So yeah. where they're at in that moment, um, you know, you meet them there and then you, you know, you continue to build that trust and build that relationship and, and, you know, get them ready to, you know, to be successful. Um, yeah. There's a lot of like honoring. Like. I feel like there's a lot of yeah. honoring in it. Honor right. the people and see everyone as a person. See everyone as people and 
teach them and show them and invite them to see you as a person and as people too. And I think it's this viewpoint, you know, if we, if we see each other as people, we talk differently with each other. You know, we feel differently for each other. We do things differently for each other versus it's this uh, unhumane way. And I think that is really what the Corporate Happiness Show is about. It's about thinking outside of the box in showing through different guests and strong voices like yours in thought processes and how you could actually create a happy environment because it's possible it really is and it's also yeah. the world right now it's a it's an invitation it's not a new way of being it's just an invitation of seeing everyone as a person and humanize everything so yeah. well this is a great conversation it was a great conversation we could keep going forever now we are yeah. kind of like at the end of it so where can people find you Alyssa? Yeah, so people, you know, people can reach empowerment in so many different ways. And I think, um, Jacqueline, you'll be able to put that kind of in the info yes. area as well. Um, so, of course, through our website, um, empowhermint.org, uh, uh, through our social media at um, underscore empowerment. Um, we have, you know, our two centers, one in Clearwater, one in Palm Harbor. Um, even if you're not local to either, um, reach out to us because we can make almost everything, um, I say almost everything, pretty much almost anything virtual so that you can still participate. Uh, you'll find us, um, as much as I can be with the St. Pete girl bosses. Um, I love them. That's, you know, where I met Jacqueline. Um, so anytime I'm there, I always love sharing just everything that empowerment offers and, and reminding people that there is no checkbox system. Um, the only qualification um, to receive these resources is, are you a woman and do you need support? Um, and if for some reason we can't give you that direct support, because maybe we don't have it quite yet, we have had amazing referral partners. So at the end of the day, you will still receive the support that you need. I love that. I love that. It's like, yeah, there's like no limit really to what we as human beings can do if we kind of care about each other. So absolutely. Like you said, going back to <laughs> basics and just treating humans like humans, because that's what we are. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, well, thank you so much for being on the show with us. I just love what you have to share and I love your organization so much. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Jacqueline. I think I just I can't wait to you know watch all the ways that we collaborate and, and yes you know just everything that you offer and how we're going to do so much um, as strong women and um, just all of the growth coming it's been Excellent. such an honor to be chatting with you today and um, and many days and many days perfect. to come yeah no that's perfect so and to all the listeners thanks so much for listening in and I hope you got some real real deep heartfelt open good news out of this podcast and listening and whatnot and i'll talk to you next time thanks so much